you're a mature woman like I am, I'm 52 this week. If you're th that age, over 40, anything like that, and you find that wearing highlighter or glowing makeup kind of will show up your texture, I'm gonna show you what I do to still love my glowy makeup, my highlighters and all that, but not show any texture or anything that makes you look older. So if you're new to my channel, special welcome to you and I invite you to please subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell icon. That always is helpful because you'll be notified of any future videos that I might upload. And then also everybody, if you wouldn't mind, please giving this video a thumbs up. It does help me out a lot. And thank you all so much for being here with me today. So let's get into the application of what I do on my face in order to make it look glowy, not greasy, not textured right now. Okay, so for the demonstration, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do one half with all the glowy makeup on it and the other half we're just gonna leave as it is. But I did put down a mattifying powder on my skin in order for it to look a little bit more mattified and so you can see the stark difference in this look. So where so we're gonna start first is with the eyes. The eyes are really a place that you might not think about having glow glowy, dewy looks on. But when you put on a bright look onto your eye, then you're gonna find that your eyes will pop and they'll stand out more. There will be more light shown to them and so they will look brighter, you'll look you more youthful with that. And the first product that I'm going to use is um, one that we probably all have. This is the Essence Pure Nude Highlighter and this is just the original. And I find that this is such a good product to put on my eyelids because it doesn't have a ton of metallic or a ton of shimmer, but it still shows up a lot of brightness. Now I'm just gonna put this on with my finger. It deposits a little bit more product and I just feel like I get a little bit more control when I'm doing this kind of thing. And so what's nice about this kind of a product is that it's going to be bright without any shimmer, without any showing up any extra texture on our eyelids. If you have crepey eyelids, then the ones that are metallic, they can sometimes really show up a lot of texture across your eyelids. So you can see the difference in what the two are and this one is already showing up a lot brighter. Now that looks like a very soft peach. When it's in the pan, it's more along the lines of a soft beige. So between the two eyes, you can already tell a difference. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the Pixie and Rach Loves palette I love this palette, you guys. Uh, when it came to me, it was broken, but I was able to press it back in there. But this palette is so good for having um, shimmery glass-like products in it, very highlighting products with absolutely no glitter in it whatsoever. So I'm gonna go into this color right here, which is, um, these are supposed to be along here, the eyeshadow colors, and then these are the highlighters. So I'm just taking a small paddle brush and I'm just going into that first color that is along the lines of the same color as what I have here started. So I'm gonna go and I'm gonna tap that off and, and then, then I'm gonna go into the inner corner here and bring a bunch of light into that inner corner right there and then I'm just going to very gently just kind of meld it with that upper color so it's blended just a bit so we have brightness on the lid without a lot of metallic but in the corner we're going to put metallic so can you already see how that eye is just coming to life now I'm going to switch brushes and I'm going to use this is a Sigma pencil brush. I will make sure I list it down below. It's a little bit softer of a pencil brush So I'm gonna go down into that same color in the Rachel loves palette again and This time I'm gonna bring a little bit of light right here at the top of the brow So I am not putting a ton there, but I want just a tiny bit of it to be able to just show off where the high point of that brow is so look at the two eyes. Now that is all I'm gonna do on the eyes today, but take a look at them. You can really see that this one looks more open. It looks more alive. It looks more like it's the focal point of your look than this I would without having any sort of glowing or dewy or highlighting product on it. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to bring some light to my cheeks. Now, a lot of people like to do highlight all over the place. 
I particularly want to just stay on my cheeks because if I do highlight everywhere and that beaming highlight, I'm going to find that I do show up a little bit more of my pores or a little bit more texture on my face. So I'm going to go into the color that is in the Rach Loves palette and it's this color right here and this is called Clutch and I'm just using a very light fan brush. I have not found this fan brush again. However, Sonia Kashuk has one that is almost exactly like it and I'll make sure that I link it for you. So I'm going to turn my cheek so you can see and all I'm going to do is just put this light or this highlighter right there on the cheek. I'm not coming down with it onto the cheek so that it doesn't engulf my whole entire look. I'm just putting it right there on the cheek. So actually when you look forward, you're not going to see this too much on the forward look. But when that cheek gets turned or when somebody is looking at you from the side, it looks very dewy, very glowy. So I do like that. Now, I also like, let me move my my straps here a little bit. I also like to put a little bit of glow right here on my collarbone, just a little bit to catch that light, especially when I'm wearing something that's strapless like this. You can do it on your shoulders too if you want to. It's just personal choice on there because you're not gonna show up any texture on this area at all. So the next glowing thing I wanna do is my lips. So I have Diamond Milk from Fenty Beauty and I already have a gloss on my lips. But what I'm gonna do with this because it has a little bit of shimmer sheen to it, I'm gonna just pop this right in the middle of my lips so you can see. Now I'm not gonna be able to do just one half a lip. I guess I could have done one half a lip but you can see how pretty that does and how much that makes that lip just look glowy and dewy. And it's a beautiful look immediately just makes those lips look more plump and more glowy. So I love that. Now and we're gonna go in with the Milani Prep Set and Glow. And this is a brush that I got a long time ago on one of the Ulta sales and it is an it brush for Ulta. And I'm just going to pick up quite a bit of this because what I wanna do with this is I want to make that dusting across the area is where the younger gals would normally put a very high highlight. I just want a very soft one. You know, they do the whole nose thing. I don't do that, but I do come down the nose with one sweep and then I will go across the chin just a little bit and then across the forehead just a little bit. And what that's going to do is that's going to pick up that light just ever so slightly in order for it to be a little bit glowing, a little bit dewy. Now I do, I have mentioned a million times in my videos, the Lancome Absolute Powder. This lasts a very, very long time. It is a beautiful, beautiful powder. I will put just a tiny bit of it on this side just to show you on top of that, that you can get a little bit more of a glow with a color. This one has a little bit of a pink color, whereas the Milani has just kind of a straight translucent color. So we're just gonna kind of just dust this very lightly again across the side. Okay, and then as a finishing, I'm just going to spray this side with my luminizing spray from Flower Beauty that I like so much. I recently had this in a video as well. I'm gonna make sure that I only get it on this side Okay, so that's dried down. Now, I just want you guys to look straight on. This is the side without, this is the side with the glowing makeup on. It doesn't look greasy, it doesn't look cakey, there's no, no texture showing on the makeup. Now, when I turn my face though, you're gonna see that I have all this glow going on, which is really pretty, uh, but I haven't gone in with really a highlighter to achieve this. There are other products that you can use if you're a mature woman to achieve this dewy look. Now it might look a little bit more highlighted down here on my chest, but on the face itself, it's just a glowy look. Now let me turn this way so you can see, really no glow showing whatsoever on there. So it really does make a big difference when you're taking a look at your makeup. And if you like this look, then it's something that you can achieve without having texture. If you don't like it, I completely understand that too. If you're somebody that doesn't like this glowy look, but I really do feel like it brightens up that eye, makes that eye look bigger. I feel like it just makes you have a dewy, youthful glow on your skin. And then and I do 
feel like it makes those lips look a little bit more pouty and a little bit more plump too. So that is it for today's video. I hope that you did enjoy it. I will put on my other side of my makeup later on, but this is to demonstrate how glowy and dewy can look beautiful without looking greasy because there are times I do feel like it might feel like it's a little bit overboard. So you have to kind of choose whether or not you'll use the glow spray, whether or not you're wanting to put on something that is going to be a finishing powder that might give you more light to your skin. Whether or not in the inner corner of your eye, you wanna just use that light powder that you put across your eyelid rather than a shimmer in the corner or there on the brow bone too. So I just feel like putting those little extra, extra added touches really does help a lot. I hope that you did enjoy it. Please give this video a thumbs up if you did. Thank you so much for tuning in today for this short little glowy tutorial. Let me know in the comment section what you think and if you have a favorite glowing product that you use. I also normally do put L'Oreal Lumi Glotion either in my foundation or under my foundation and I didn't get a chance to do that today because I wanted to show you the difference. But that is another wonderful product that you might look into also. So take care of yourselves. I hope everybody is doing very well. Thank you so much for spending time with me today. Love you very much and I'll catch you in my next video. Bye you guys.